the wisdom and knowledge that comes with operating pieces of equipment. I never get stuck. Okay, so here's where the power comes in. And this is what was here, a pole and another pole there. What we're gonna try to do is we're gonna trench all the way into that corner of the garage, put the uh, service there, and then up and overhead to the house when we're ready to do that. So that allows us to kind of get started, but not necessarily have power to the house in case in case well we're just frankly not ready for that quite yet but anyway we'll have power we can have power out here that's cool um and then you'll have water will be in there so that's good and that thing is gonna go away well the old camper uh we did finally get rid of uh, it caught fire and went very fast and so uh, it is a lot of aluminum that is left and some steel and we're able to get that cleaned up uh, it needed to go and that's how it, how it happened so as you can see there's what's kind of left lila and lane uh, my nephew lane and, and lila uh, were able to do some intern work with school to work so they would come down and work and here they're laying out the different flower beds uh, for us trying to get them kind of equally spaced. Didn't really know what to expect, but Sherry gave us uh, some pretty good guidelines and that's what we went with. Grandpa always used to tell me he was never stuck. Uh, I think he was kidding, but I'm not sure. But that's what Grandpa always used to say. That back when I used to get stuck a lot. I, I don't get stuck anymore. Um, I just, you know, it's just uh, the wisdom and knowledge that comes with operating pieces of equipment. I never get stuck. A few moments later. Hi. Never been stuck. I don't. I don't reckon. I see. I, Grandpa always said he never got stuck, so I'm not sure that I ever have. Yeah. I was just making tracks. Yeah. Well, anyways, but it's too wet. As you know, it's just look at that, right? I think a right farmer there. would know that. Yeah. 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 I just want to do something. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> now you got a lot of something to do. <laughs> yes. We got more work. <laughs> What is, what is humorous is the reason we're not in the field today is because it's raining, right? And so we come over here because this is fun. We enjoy this to work on Cherry's flower beds, except that's just nothing but mud. And then there was an issue down there. Do you want to elaborate on that issue down there? Yeah, the farmer wanted me to drive equipment <laughs> in a wet field. <laughs> 
Yeah, we got struck, stuck, but we pulled it out with a truck. That's my first time getting stuck. <laughs> He's done. What? Sherry is spraying the flower beds. And I am putting some turkey litter on. And then I'm going to till. So I brought the little push mower, but it is under the weather over yonder. And so I'm not going to be able to do it. But uh, that's what we're trying to get this bed, flower bed, is ready for today. shifted gears because it's wet we have Made it more wet. pump well yeah i mean it's wet over there we've been pumping the water meter out to see if we're actually hooked up and i think we are so but i forgot my tools at home to turn the water back on to test it so I'm gonna think that one over a minute. Well, another load of metals that we're gonna to take to the salvage yard in the old blue truck. Uh, not a whole lot of pictures and video from the spring planting that Sherry did in the, in the garage. Um, this our attached garage became kind of a mini greenhouse and uh, it's quite fun to go out every evening into water and to plant had some uh, interesting, I say interesting, some uh, <laughs> frustrating times getting some grow lights to work. But anyways, that was a lot of uh, fun, but not without its issues. As you see there, we would pull them out as the spring got warmer, we'd pull them outside and, and one of the uh, carts blew over. And so there was a lot of work uh, and effort. But uh, thanks again for watching and, and stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Ask your questions so we can all learn together. Come and grow with us.